field quickly, so we're just about ready to send it up to track announcer John Bothy with the call of the 1998 Breeders' Crown Open Pace. John? And thanks a lot, Gary. Well, we've been watching these uh, free-for-allers go at it all year long, and this should be a good one here. Early battle for position is going to be a big key. Here they come, and the Breeders' Crown Open Pace. And they're off. And Western Dreamer on the outside looks for the lead towards the inside. It's Pacific Bella. And also moving through, that's at point blank. Around the first turn, and there's a scramble for the early lead. Entry mates going at it. It's Red Bow Tie to the front with that point blank second a length and a half. Pacific Bell in third, then two to Noble Ability. The other two more, it's Dream Away, who settled in nicely fifth. Then a length and a half to Western Dreamer. After that, Hi Ho Silver Heels with Master Barney. The trailers are Bad Bird and Toontown, 26 and 2 with a quick opening corner. Now they race down the back stretch. We've had a bit of a win today. A factor going in their face down the back stretch. And it's Red Bow Tie leading at a length and a half. At point blank is second, with Pacific Bell in third. Noble Ability fourth. Dream away. Has to come on the outside fifth. We'll look to flush out cover, trying to get Pacific Bell out. The half, 54 and 4. Onto the far turn. And it's Red Bowtie with a length and a half lead. Then it's two more. That point blank Campbell's got to come first over with Dream Away. And Pacific Bella says thank you. We'll follow. They approach three quarters. And it's Red Bowtie leading it by a length and a half, too. Dream Away on the outside. Three quarters. 123 and three. They come to the top of the stretch. We've got a sprint to the finish from here. It's Red Bowtie and Luke Willett. Leading it by two. Campbell will try to run him down with Dream Away. Then it's two more to Pacific Bella in deep stretch. It's Red Bow Tie in front in one, 50 and one. So Gary, just a little too much there when you see 123 and three come up after that 54 and four half. You know somebody's closing in uh, 26 seconds, and it was red bow tie. Quite a drive by Luke Millet. All right, John, thanks so much, and great call. 150 and one the time. What an incredible year for driver Luke Wallet and Red Bowtie, who becomes the fifth millionaire in the field. Luke Wallet, the winningest driver money-wise in the sport in 1998, and Red Bowtie had been off for a month and blew him away. Only hit the second supplemental entry to win as well. Supplemented for $50,000 when he was scratch sick. The pacing classic final and overcame a severe case of colic. Plagued by foot problems, here he is on top as they uh, turn for home. Off that, as John Bolte pointed out, rather moderate, 123 and 3. So Luke Willett was able to rate him, and John Campbell was not able to flush any cover here as he uh, tries to close in on Red Bowtie, who simply yeah. digs in and fends him off and closes in in 27 and 3 fifths. 150 and 3 for Red Bowtie who has been plagued by foot problems throughout his career but blacksmith Mitch Kelly has done a great job of patching his feet and uh, now not only is he a world champion but he's a millionaire. All right so Red Bowtie and there is your winner with Luke Wallet aboard a new millionaire. Winner of the $340,000 Breeders' Crown Open Pace, Red Bowtie gets the job done. A Florida bred wins. Lots more to come here on a beautiful day in New Jersey. The Breeders' Crown and Hamiltonian eliminations continue. We're back at the Meadowlands, and there you see Red Bowtie. An incredible effort today. The horse had not raced in just about a month. A four-year-old Florida bred son of Raging Glory, owned by Siegel, Sharp, the Elegant Stable 9, and TLP Stable of New York. Trained by Monty Galrod of the Dwayne Marfisi Stable, and the winning driver, Luke Quallet, who is standing by right now with our Ken Warkington. Ken? Thanks a lot, Gary. The metal hands pace connections click again. Dwayne Marfisi, Monty Galrod, and winning driver Luke Willett. What a season for you. And uh, tell us about this uh, horse and how he felt being off so long, off four weeks. Well, you know, he always feels good, and he scored down feeling well, and he's perky, and he was very sound. You know, he's had a little time off the racetrack, but, you know, being off so long, you always wonder how is he going to be in a stretch, but obviously he was himself.
Okay, let's take a look at it at the top of the stretch. Dream Away is coming after you, but you got a bit of a breather with this guy. You were able to control the pace up front. Were you surprised at that? Well, <clears throat> I didn't know if Cat was going to try to regain with his horse or whatnot, but uh, when I made the front past the quarter, I went on a little bit, and then I was able to get a breather around the last turn some. Okay, this horse is digging in here, and uh, how much more have you got here? Well, you know, it looks like there might have been plenty left, but, you know, uh, I wasn't really asking him, and I had the bit in his mouth, and that was enough for today. A real class horse. He becomes a millionaire today. Did you know that? No, I, I didn't. Good for him, because he deserves it. He's, he's quite an athlete. And so are you. Great drive, Luke Ouellette. And Gary, back to you.